in some of the most remote corners of the Western Indian Ocean. Coastal communities rely on an unlikely and fascinating creature of the sea, the octopus. Armed with only a spear, some men, but predominantly women and children, walk out onto the exposed reef flats to hunt octopus during low tide. Most of this octopus is sold directly to commercial buyers based in villages, which export frozen octopus around the world. An octopus is one of the most significant cash crops produced in both southwest Madagascar and the Mauritian island of Rodrigues. The common reef octopus is one of the fastest growing marine animals, going through a period of exponential growth. Two month bans on octopus fishing offer a much needed solution to a growing trend of declines in octopus fisheries around the Indian Ocean, allowing populations to recover and resulting in bigger catches and more income for the communities who rely on this resource. In southern Madagascar, the first temporary closures of the octopus fishery were introduced by communities in 2004. Close collaboration with seafood collection companies is crucial to ensure the logistical success of the opening days when up to 10 tons of octopus can be landed in a single day. The government of Rodrigues, inspired by the Malagasy government's six-week octopus fishing ban, began planning a closure of its own with support from the European Union. Octopus fishing was halted across the entire island of Rodrigues for two months, from August to October 2012. Results show that the closures work. Nearly 10 years on and over 150 closures later, fishers in Madagascar catch nearly twice as much octopus for one month after a closure. In Rodrigues, total weekly catch was doubled on reopening, with some fishers landing 60 kilograms on a single day. Closing off a source of income and food, even temporarily, is not always popular or easy. Community support for the closures must be strong in order to promote compliance and prevent poaching. Community-based marine management is fundamental to the long-term survival of coastal communities, over 100 million people. Starting in a single village, closures have spread throughout Madagascar, internationally to Rodrigues, and there is growing interest from countries like Kenya and Tanzania. These temporary closures are so much more than just sustainable fisheries management. They give communities economic incentives to protect their biodiversity and with it, their cultural identity, food security and their children's future. Mommy!